Hope you're doing fine. I'm a little uh, video happy today. I wanted to talk about I've had it happen two times for sure. It could have been three, but people tell me to get a job. It's funny because the video doesn't even relate to anything about that. You know, I'm not on here crying. I don't have a job. <laughs> so the thing is, that's the rudest thing to do is tell somebody to get a job because you don't even know their life. You don't even know what they're going through. You know what I'm saying? So, I got to make this video. Like, imagine me out there right now. I'm just going to hop around. I'm going to watch some videos. I'm going to be cruel and I'm going to, I'm going to, hey, get a job. For real? Get a job? I mean, you know, that's pretty crazy. But anyway, <laughs> Um, there's a lots of reasons why people can't get a job. You know, it has to do with, uh, first of all, there ain't many damn jobs out there. And it's real crazy because the, the coolest, funnest jobs, like say, let's go work at Starbucks in Michigan. Let, let's work at the Dollar Tree. Sounds fun to me, especially during the holidays. They're buying up all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'll go work there. I don't give a crap. These people are happy, man. They're buying stuff. They're buying wrapping paper. They're buying all kinds of stuff. I'll go work there. The problem is, I put the application out. They're requiring college experience. They take the college people before they do someone who don't have it for a job at the Dollar Tree, okay? I'm not saying the Dollar Tree is a bad job to have. I, I actually think it would be a good job to have. I would love to, to work at Starbucks or what do they call it? They got the Dunkin' Donuts over here. They got, uh, I can't remember the other one. Oh, 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 Tim Hortons. I used to go there all the time. They got really good coffee, really good donuts. You know, they got, they got a lot of good stuff. And I would go there and get a bagel. Like I was doing my newspaper route. And I would stop in and get me a bagel with some cream cheese. You know? And man, that stuff's good. And I would love to do, you know, I'd love to do that. There ain't no problem with me having any kind of job. Okay, let's go see. I'll work on the assembly line. Even if it's, it's uh, eight bucks, seven bucks an hour. I'll go do, I'll put parts together. I'll do anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with any of those jobs out there like that. But the thing is, I fill out the applications. They don't call. Like, what do I gotta do? What do I gotta do to prove, you know, that I could do that job? I mean, really, what's so hard about giving somebody a coffee? What's so hard about rubbing some cream cheese on those bagels? What's so hard about grabbing those donuts out of that glass case? I mean, for real. What's so hard about working at the dollar store? What's so hard about that? I mean, half of the time I go in these places, these people all bitching, grabbing. They're crabbing up there looking all miserable. To me, it'd be, it'd be fun. It'd be fun. I'd make it fun. You know me, if I had my own business, that's what I would do. I don't even know what I would name it, but maybe like a uh, fun shop or, or something. Fun dollar. Fun dollar. Dollar fun. Who, who knows? They come in. They're going to be hearing some music. They're going to be dancing to the beat. I tell you what. They're going to be spending all kinds of money that they didn't even never spend before. <laughs> Honestly. I mean, we could make this world such a better place. Maybe I'm off the wall. and <laughs> Maybe I'm dreaming. But I mean, <coughs> seriously. Seriously. It could be so much better. And then how would they like it if I was the boss? Oh, but I wouldn't hire somebody who, who didn't listen to music. Okay, how about that? I mean, that's what I'm saying. All these people out there and they're controlling, they're controlling who, who they want to employ and everything else. I mean, they don't even know us. I'm telling you. 
because we are the ones that would have the great businesses. I mean, everybody's closing up shop around here. This has been happening since 2010, I believe. And it's like 2020 almost. All these stores, I'll take you for a ride one day. They're all closed up. You've got one store in the whole strip mall. I mean, what is happening in Michigan? I don't know if it's happening by you. I heard some people live in Texas. I know a lot of you live in Texas. Uh, even people in New York. I mean, they're, they're, they're stuff, you know, closing up. I don't even know. I think what happened is Michigan become boring. Michigan used to be, what, the hockey of the Detroit hockey? You know, the Lions used to be way better than they are now. I mean, they, I know you guys. They haven't ever been great, but still. Me, I'm in for the, uh, come on, Green Bay and, uh, ooh, Dakota. Wait, hold on. I, I'm losing my mind right here. But anyway, New England Patriots, Green Bay. Okay, you know, uh, you're catching me on the spot, so I can't think that quick. But anyway, I don't know, all these shops are closing up. I tell you what, if I had money. We would turn this neighborhood to a rich neighborhood in five seconds. Okay, I wouldn't even need that much money. It's all about fun and having a good time, really. I mean, I know that we're supposed to be within reason and, you know, but I mean, what? If somebody likes something, they're going to keep coming. That's why I don't get to. Like, a lot of times, okay, they got all these copyrights going on of the music on YouTube and you share it to here and there and, and you're all getting in trouble. Um, to me... Or even products of whatever. I don't even know. But to me, the thing is, they're getting free advertisement. Why would they not want you to share it? If I have anything, I ain't put in copyright. You know, if, if, if I made a product, sure, the product would be copyrighted. Or wait, what's the other word? Oh, patent. Okay, sure. But I mean, come on, songs that everybody listens to every day, and we share it all over the place. I mean, that's that's more broadcasting for you. That's that's more. Come on, you know the word. I can't get it out. But I mean, this is this is really about become crazy. You know, it's it's no longer a free world. You know, it's it's crazy. I'm staring at a picture right now of donuts on my screen. I don't know how they become there. Look. See them? You know, whoop, they don't look like real great donuts, but they got some dippy stuff and everything. So, I don't know. I don't know. Michigan has become miserable. And um, I'm also miserable. <laughs> it's been this way for a long time. And, you know, a lot of people don't want to talk politics. But, you know what? Obama did have a big thing to do with that. He did. Actually, I lost a house back then when Obama was in there. They was given all these... Just won't go there. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. We got to get some businesses going on because I tell you what, I'd be... That whole strip mall, if we had a whole strip mall, just think of that. A whole strip mall. It don't have to be big. 10 stores, 12. Oh, you could hop that place. You could have this here and this here and this here and this here and this here. And it's like all the way down the line. I mean, guaranteed, they come to your strip mall, they ain't leaving till after midnight. Possibly 2 a.m. 3 if they pushed it. So, okay, bye-bye. <laughs> I gotta be silly to live. That's the way it is, so. Have a great New Year. Bye.